Good morning. Really, it's really a privilege for me to be here again. The last time I was in this hall talking to retirees it was October 2015. Central states, a few weeks prior to that, had filed the first application under MPRA, Multi-Employer Pension Reform Act of 2014, to cut benefits for retirees and active workers. Now I want you to think back for a moment, if you can, around that time when you first heard about it. And remember what you were thinking and how you were feeling. My God, what's gonna happen to us? Why is this happening to us? We can't stop this. It's hopeless. But a funny thing happened on the way to despair. We stopped those cuts. And keep that in mind about what you did. Because I'm going to need you to do it again, as Tom said, over the next 80 to 90 days. But before I get into what we must do, I want to review for you the Teamster proposal, which everybody now knows as the Butch Lewis Act. Because people need to be reminded about why this bill solves the issue forever. This is not a central state's problem alone. This involves a lot of other union pension plans. 130 over the next two decades are going to be insolvent unless something is done. There's another 200 that are in the red zone, which is not critical in declining, but is heading that way. Of the plans that are in critical in declining, those 130, you add up all the numbers, the participants, the retirees, and their spouses, and there's about three and a half million people who are facing what you're facing, what we've come up with is the idea that will, in effect, step into the gap by creating an agency within Treasury that will be able to loan money to pension plans. This is the first law since 1974 that protects retirees and active members as the first priority. It is a big step toward redeeming the pledge. The official policy of the United States government is to protect you and fellow Americans retirement security. And that's what brings me to you. We have to influence the Republican House members and the Rep uh, Republican Senate members of this committee. How you do that is you lean on the Republicans in this state and in Iowa and in North Dakota. You got to let them know what this means to you if your pensions are cut or wiped out. You got to tell them your stories. It's in our hands, brothers and sisters, the next 60 to 80 days to affect what that Joint Select Committee is going to do. Remember, no one gave us a chance to beat back central states. People are scoffing at us now. Oh, the Joint Select Committee, they're not gonna do nothing. Well, I don't accept that. I don't accept that, and I know you don't too. Thank you very much. There's too much water under the bridge Too many teardrops have washed this road away 
And I'd take the fast train Across Lake Pontchartrain But there's too much water Under the bridge 